In this video, we're going to take a look at Book Creator. It's an app for the iPad which allows your students to really easily create ebooks in just a matter of minutes. One of the first things I want to do is create a new book. So I do so by clicking on the button up here. Next, I need to choose the shape of the book. I tend to like landscape. It's the shape of an iPad and also the shape of two pages open next to each other. And in the next step, what I need to do is add in text. In order to do so, on the top of the screen, I'm going to click on the text icon. Next, I'm going to put in my text. And when I'm finished, I click on Done. If I wish to reposition my text on the page, I simply touch it and drag it around. If I want the text to be wider, I click on the blue dot over here and I drag it to the left or the right. Next, I'm going to insert an image. In order to do so, I click over here on the image icon, go to my camera roll, choose the image I'd like. To resize the image, I simply click on one of the blue dots and move it inwards at a 45 degree angle. One thing to note is that this app does not support pinch and zoom. So if you want to resize things, you need to touch these blue dots. Next, I'd like to add narration for my text. In order to do so, I'm going to click on the music note icon up here. This will start the built-in sound recorder. What I'm going to do is read out what I have on the page. This is Avi reading a book. Once the students record their dialogue, if they'd like to hear it, they can give it a tap. This is Avi reading a book. They can also position the sound playback icon wherever they'd like. However, I suggest it's right next to the text, so it's clear for the reader to click on that icon to hear the text. Now another thing the students can do is they can change the font size or change the color of the font. I highly suggest that they figure this out at the beginning. Make a long story short, once you change the font, that's what the font will be for all the pages after this. So they really should figure that out on the first page, and more to the point, they should be focusing more on the language than playing with the fonts. Regardless, to change the fonts, what you need to do is click on the text, then click on this I over here for inspector, and here you can change the size of the font, you can click on the color, change it, do whatever you really want in there. If you want to delete something on the page, for example I want to delete this text, I click on it, click on the I for inspector, and at the bottom you're going to have delete. I'm going to click on delete to delete the text. Now, uh, if I want to go to the next page to continue with my book, continue creating, I click on the little arrow over here, give it a chance, it takes a second for it to change the page, and do what you'd like to do. Now, in the last step, what we're going to do is export this book. To export the book, I'm going to click on My Books, and at the bottom you have a little cloud icon. If you click on the cloud icon, you can export this by email, which is the way that I prefer to do that. We're going to click on that, and it gives you two choices, email as iBook or email as PDF. The difference being is PDF is universal. Anyone with a computer and iPad can open up the book and see it. However, they will not be able to hear any audio recordings in the book if your students decided to add narration. If you want to keep the book interactive with the narration and the ability to change pages and all that stuff, you say email as iBook. Once that happens, a new message dialog will pop up and what I can do is I can put in the email address where I want to send it. So there you go. That's an overview of Book Creator for the iPad.